Oh, hi. Didn't see you come in. Oh, hi there. Am I dead? Well, duh. I threw myself in a ship's reactor, so I, I gotta be. Hey, are you God? Is this heaven? Why, yes. Yes, it is. This is heaven. I'm God. Who else would I be? Oh, I don't know. Some jokey jokester pretending to be God? Haha, uh -huh, no. Where'd you get that idea? I'm totally God. Now please come in. An angel will be with you shortly. Yes, an angel. Uh, I, I gotta go. But God! But God, I have so many questions! Have you ever cooked a pizza so hot that not even you can eat it? Wow. Hello, welcome to... Ah! Well, he's a trained assassin with a lot of spunk. The girls all think he's such a hunk. A talking bird, who would have thought? Hey, everybody, it's more. He was hanging with his buddies, everything was swell. Then he died and went to hell. Now he's back and we've just gotta yell. Hey, everybody, it's more. He's the biggest little hero in outer space. The bad guys run when they see his face. He's our number one, yeah, he's our ace. Hey, everybody, it's more. Hey, everybody, it's more. Monday. All we can be friends are now this. Yo, Bird, listen. I ain't gonna hurt you. Really? Yeah, I'm just a skeleton. Uh, an angel skeleton? No. What? Are you stupid or something? Just a regular skeleton. What's your deal? Well, I guess I just never met a skeleton before. But now that I think about it, we're all skeletons on the inside. What? Who are you talking to? Uh, nobody! Nobody! Sorry, Mr. Skeletons! It's no big. Listen, the name's Sharon. Sharon? You got it. I'm the guy that ferries souls between the living and the dead. Oh, that's cool! My name's Sparky! Hold it right there. Name Schmogladjacon. Species Minor Bird. Cause of death, heroic sacrifice. Wow! Sharon, that's amazing! No, it's bureaucracy. I don't know what that means. Hey, are you gonna take me to heaven? What was that a pickup line or something? No. Nah, kid, we got more specific places than that. Places based on what kind of person you are in the living. Like bird heaven? Don't be a schmuck. I'm talking places like the cabin that you with your mouth open and the realm of Muzak enthusiasts. Wow. So I guess it's isn't heaven, huh? Psh, no, don't know where you got that idea. Well, I guess that means this is... Yep, the other place. Eep. Well, ain't no time like the now. Let's get a move on. Ah. Welcome to... Ah, where are we? Let me finish, will ya? This is a uh, written out limbo. A place for fictional characters that got written out in their respective mediums. Written out? I don't follow! Well, it says here that you died of heroic sacrifice in between seasons. In between seasons? What? I'm pretty sure it was still Space Winter when I died. Listen, all I'm saying is it sounds like you got written out. You know, got a bridge dropped on you. Put on a bus. Stuffed in the fridge. Sudden sequel death syndrome. Clearly somebody doesn't visit TV tropes. Hey, do you say you were here to fix the TV? No, my name's Sparky! Who are you? I'm Zack, the Black Ranger. I'll say. I'll never forget the day they told me when I was going to a peace conference with Trini. It was the happiest day of my life. I mean, I knew I was gonna miss my bros, Jason and Billy. But it was a big step for me, you know? I thought I might even get a new Zord out of the deal. But then, I ended up here. What's a Zord? I think he's got it bad. What about me? Oh, so sorry, Zacky Poo. You got written out to go to some fancy conference. At least you didn't get put in a coma by your abusive nerdo boyfriend. That's... that's not fair, Terry. Sure it is, Zack. Did I mention that off-screen after Dweebazoid shot a kid in there himself, then he transferred to a private school? Oh wait, I mean here with you losers, please. I'm a plus-size model. I don't need this. You want to know what else is plus-sized? Ugh, I'm out of here. Terry... Way. What's her major malfunction? Hey, I know you guys! You're the Lone Gunman! That's right! Man, I love the X-Files! 
But wait, why are you here? We got killed off in season nine. Stop! Why did you tell me that? I only watched until season five. Spoilers, guys! Next thing you're gonna tell me is that mom's gonna kiss and they have a baby together and- They do! Stop! I can't handle this place! Sharon, we're leaving! The aliens are colonizing Earth with bees! Yeah, uh, but it says right here that- No, Sharon! Wacky animal sidekicks. Because let's face it, you're an animal and you're a sidekick, and you're certainly a uh, wacky. Well, no bones about it! <laughs> uh, that's a new one. Hi! Did I just hear a pu -pu -pu pun? You bet you believe it! Hi, my name's Sparky. What's your oh, name? I love puns! <laughs> Me too! I'm Michael, so who are you? <laughs> Say it again. Uh, no bones about it? <laughs> oh, God. You're funny. That's the best. <laughs> bones! I guess he just sort of comes to me. Hey, look at that guy. He's really funny. <laughs> Gee, what was that all about? Bone oh, 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 oh,
Nobody's impressed. Fine, jeez. Spoil all my fun. You do that trick every time. It wasn't even cool in the first place. Cram it with walnuts, Sharon. You, you wanna know, know a good guy that bit you in the coccyx. Anywho, welcome, Smoke Landricon. Glad you could join us. What's that you got here? Hmm? Oh, oh this? This, this is, is my little clay civilization. Wow, I love clay! I used to have a McDonald's play on set when I was a fledgling! You can make little clay Big Macs, little clay french fries, and little clay Cokes, and little clay ice cream cones, and little clay McNuggets, and little clay toys, and little clay pies, and little clay, little clay... Fascinating. My clay figures are somewhat different. They move and live like real people. They fall in love like real people. They even kill each other like real... Hey, cut it out! Why? Cause, I was gonna start killing them later to creep you out. Well, you still can if you want to. I don't even want it anymore. Jeez! Fine. Anyway, did Sharon fill you in on the opportunity we're prepared to offer you here in hell? That's the one thing I still don't understand! When I first showed up here, this big booming voice told me I was in heaven! Oh, that? That was me. Yeah, yeah, I, I do, do it, it to all our new arrivals, arrivals just, just to screw with them. them. See? Hi, Sporky, I'm God, blah, blah, blah. Hilarious, Satan. But I still don't understand why I'm here. Are you, Are you really, really that, that surprised? surprised? You're you a, a professional, professional assassin. assassin. But I sacrificed my own life to save my friends. Shouldn't that be enough to redeem me? It, it almost was. was. That's, That's why, why you almost, almost made it to heaven. heaven. Almost, but, but not quite. That's dumb! Them's the breaks, kid. Now that you're here, you might as well make the best of it. Which is why you'd be a fool to turn down this job I'm offering you. A job? What kind of job? Well, you see, Schmorky, from time to time, certain people up on Earth start acting very naughty. Normally I'm supposed to step in and collect their souls at that point, but I just go busy around here with paperwork... ...and watching TV and playing dumb pranks and trying to start a rock band. Put a cork in it, Skeletor. The point is, Schmorky, I could use some extra help collecting those souls. That's where you come in. Me? 
collects souls? Like some kind of soul collector? That's, That's right. right. Sharon, Sharon here used to do it, it but that was before, before he met Brenda and got, got totally whipped. I'm the best soul collector there's ever been! If it weren't for these cataracts, I'd still be out there on the front lines! Sure, sure. Let's get one thing straight, Bird. I'm the only one who can walk both planes. But I don't know the first thing about hell or soul collecting! I've only been dead for like 18 minutes! You'll, You'll get, get the hang of it. Come, come on, on Schmorky, don't, don't leave me hanging, hanging here. here. Take, Take my, my hand. hand. How do you feel? I feel like a, like a Super Saiyan! Okay, I guess that's good enough. You can go now. Don't let me down.